Yeah. So after, I don't know, five minutes max, he said, okay, you can go. I mean, you can just forget about that here. Common sense here for me, I mean, Africans are not well known for common sense. But mm, not it, really. No, not really. This is absolutely, but they, the way they communicate with you is like, like we speak now, very normal. There's no, you know, you're not an authority and, and uh, behaving like an authority. They're just like normal people. At least that's how I so far came to know them. But in that case, you, you had money on you. And uh, if somebody's driving and is making a mistake and has no money, so they get into a problem and then it's also getting also bad. No. Be, maybe you saw the nice face of this policeman because you were able to pay right on the place. But I did not pay. I mean, you and said the first time you gave him No, I, I gave him two Swiss francs. Yeah. My wife gave him because I don't like to bribe really. Mm. But she said, okay, give him two Swiss francs and then he's happy with it. Swiss francs? Really Swiss francs? Ah, Frank you ground a shilling. <laughs> Just that you know how much okay. it was. It was nothing. I mean, yeah. if, if I gave him 40 Swiss francs, this is, this is a third of his salary per month. Yeah, this yeah. is a lot. But we gave him very little, mm -hmm. so this just shows that it needs very little to to change their mind. Mm -hmm. We can we could still discuss if this is a good thing. Yeah, but because this is open another discussion if it's really good. Because if everyone is behaving like that, maybe you get the corruption again. Yeah, you see, there are two systems here. We have, I think, for me, I mean, I've been watching that now for as you know, let's say forty years. So since I'm sixteen, I'm thinking about this life here and the implications and the complications mm -hmm. and there are two ways of corruption for me African corruption we know it's we call it corruption yeah because let's say I need my passport I give you forty ten dollars I will get my passport a lot quicker than if I don't give you ten dollars yeah right and then we have a so-called no we don't even call it corruption it's just daily use here in Europe you see but they are so corrupted. I mean, imagine Mr. Hildebrandt, he was the, the chairman of the Swiss National Bank. He made one million US dollars Swiss francs per year. And he got fired in the end and he got paid one million US dollars. So you tell me now, first of all. It's ironic. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit ironic because what is more corrupt, taking one million US dollars without having any responsibility, any, running away you even get paid and it's, it applies to really with everybody in this system. I think for me everybody is totally corrupt if, if one of our parliament is making between minimum 200,000 up to 400,000 per year, are you calling that corrupt or not? Because he's not working for, for it. He's just expressing his own ideas, his own I This is just fact. Do we get paid now? Do we get maybe, paid? Maybe we've No, we someone. don't. <laughs> Not even a maybe. No, we don't get paid. Yeah. So why should these people be paid by just sitting together in a nice decorated room and getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for just expressing their own opinion? I mean, there is another problem. I mean. They can even say they're working on projects and ideas and lead it to a certain way, but if they they are they stop to work as a politician, you then it. they keep on having this money and right. this is this is one red. They get a pension, right? Yeah, they get a, this pension. This huge not pension. only this, they get the pension, mm -hmm. but most of the time they find very lucrative jobs mm -hmm. in heavy industries like Mrs. Uh, what was her name? Metzlo, like Mr. Um, Schroeder. They make huge, huge money afterwards, even that. So I think the perspective is wrong here. You see, we talk about how, the, you know, these guys, they make no money down there. They make a, let's say a government employee makes 100, 120, 150 Swiss francs per, per month. Mm -hmm. This is even down there very difficult to make a living. So how can you accuse them to being a, yeah. This is almost impossible. These guys here, they're living wealth, they have the biggest and best cars. But the politicians are the same down there. They're, they're just totally mindless. So even heartless, I would say. So this is just, again, the curse of Richelieu. You see, some people, 
they get elected. We talked about that last time. I was driving through Switzerland now and then you can see these nice smiling faces. Uh, Mrs. Patricia, what's your name? I don't remember really. Anyway, you just make a little nice poster along the street and this should give you, the voter, an impression to vote for you, even though we don't even know you. We don't know what you do, what you think, what, what you, how you live your life, nothing. And then these people are elected and most of the time, as we all know out of experience, as soon as, as they are elected, they sit in this made nest and they they serve themselves. Sometimes they have a good intention on the beginning and when yes. they come into the circle they realize it's not that easy to really change because the whole mass is so slow. But this is another uh, discussion. I want to discuss more about uh, Uganda because they are beautiful horns from Uganda. Okay. So last time you told me a little bit about your visions to open... No visions today, please. No visions. Okay, a dream or a plan? No. No, no plans, just step by step now. Step by step. Yeah. So what about your retreat? Just no plans, no visions today. Okay, so it's secret. Just watch the German version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the problem is that this experience with what my wife told me just changed my perspective again. Mm -hmm. We had, as you know, we had some plans. Mm -hmm. I also think they might come into reality one day, mm -hmm. but I think we should take more time because it's very very risky mm -hmm. if you go too fast they can arrest you mm -hmm. that's serious down there also not yeah, but they here. arrest you for what reason they arrest you because you threaten the hiv industry because you threaten the uh, medical industry and i can assure you we can tear that system totally down if you give us the freedom to act but who wants to tear that system down? Nobody. Because like here, I mean, who has the biggest houses in Africa? It's first of all the politicians, the biggest house and the nicest cars. First of all politicians, then you have lawyers, and then you have doctors. This is mm -hmm. just a fact, you can see that. Yeah, sure. So if, if you threaten these little kingdoms, then... So you have to open yourself, your kingdom. Exactly. No, yeah, what we, are, what we are going to do now, we are going to register the products, so that nobody can attack us. We are going mm -hmm. to register a clinic. What, what kind of products are you talking well, we about? Very all the, the one you have on Tide Wellness? No. Or are you horns? We or? need only, down there, we need only five. Okay. We have, we have, I mean. Five. What are the magic five? That's right, even magic three. <laughs> yeah. You know, down there it's very funny and very interesting because the doctors are as blind as here. Why are they so blind as here? Because they were taught by our blind doctors and as Jesus said the blind is led by the blind, the blind and they both fall into the pit so they we just had this example because this scared us a bit because one doctor said that a, a customer of ours she had an allergic reaction to our, to, uh, to our products which okay. cannot be the case but this is very risky mm. for us yeah. so the magic three uh, in case some people from the US watch or listen the first is definitely MSM, you have, you have that a lot in mm. the US. MSM is the magic substance for almost everything. Mm. Then you have uh, the Shungit powder, mm. uh, but there are two different ones, The bet you need the better one. Then you have the zeolite, lava, stone, milled, grinded, and what else? And silver. Mm. With these four you can really defeat all African disease. Really, sounds unbelievable, but it's really true. So these are the magic four, and then you have uh, very often, you know, people, even here, somebody told me yesterday, men, you know, not, not about sexual desire, but they, they do not function anymore, yeah, in bed, yeah, how they say, yeah, mm. you understand what I want, what I want to say. Yeah? And just by giving them, this is a lack of life energy, if they cannot function. Okay.